Ezra, Venechemiah, Nehemiah, four. But it came to pass that when Canbalat heard that we built the wall, he was wroth and took a great indignation and mocked the Yahudim. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Shomoron and said, What do these feeble Yahudim? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive at the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? Now Toviyahu the Omani was by him, and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Hear, O our Elohim, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. And cover not their iniquity, and let not their sin be blotted out from before you. For they have provoked you to anger before the builders. So build we at the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. For the people had a mind to work. But it came to pass that when Kanbalat and Toviyahu and the Aravim and the Ammonim and the Ashdadim heard that the walls of Yerushalayim were made up, and that the breaches began to be stopped. Then they were very wroth, and conspired all of them together to come up, rather, to come and to fight against Yerushalayim, and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our Elohim, and set a watch against them day and night, because of them. And Yahudah said, The strength of the bearers of burdens is decayed, and there is much rubbish, so that we are not able to build the wall. And our adverse, rather, adversaries said, They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them and slay them, and causeth the work to cease. And it came to pass that when the Yahudim which dwelt by them came, they said unto us ten times, From all places whence ye shall return unto us, they will be upon you. Therefore set I in the lower places behind the wall, and on the higher places, I even set at the people after their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be not ye afraid of them. Remember Athadonai, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren, your sons, and your daughters your women and your houses. And it came to pass, when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and Elohim had brought at their counsel to naught, that we returned all of us to the wall, every one unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servants wrought in the work, and the other half of them held both the spears the shields and the bows and the coats of armor and the rulers were behind all the house of Yahudah. They which built on the wall and they that bore burdens with those that laid it, every one, rather, every one with one of his hands wrought in the work and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders, every one had his sword girded by his side, and so built. And he that sounded the shofar was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, The work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. 
in that rather in what place therefore ye hear at the sound of the shofar resort ye thither unto us our elohim shall fight for us so we labored in the work and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared likewise at the same time said i unto the people let every one with his servant lodge with Yarushalayim, that in the night they may be, gar be a guard to us and labor on the day. So neither I, nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that everyone put them off for washing. <clears throat> 